Hi, this is Shannon with Riva. We're gonna do a walk around on a new Yamaha jet boat today. We're gonna look at a couple of the features on the helm area of the Yamaha jet boat. You're going to have a navigation screen which will have all of your accessories. It is either navigated through touch screen or joystick on the side. You do have a tilt helm steering wheel so you can adjust it to your needs. You'll have your push button, start and stop buttons for both motors. On the side is where you'll have your key switch and your lanyard safety switch. On the right side, you'll have your phone holder. You can orientate up or down. It's a very nice feature on the Yamaha jet boats. You'll also have a quick key button access that'll help you navigate your screen as well. Another important accessory switch on the helm, as with all boats, is gonna be your blower motor, which you want to turn on to evacuate all the fumes in your engine compartment before you start the motors. And then you have your throttle controls, which are your binnacles for both motors on the right-hand side. One of the nice features on the Yamaha jet boats in particular are their adjustable seats. This model happens to have both adjustable seats with the captain's chairs. So you have a few different uh, areas to adjust here. You have your armrests that go up and down. You have your recline that go forward and back. You have your slide that goes forward and reverse. And then you have your spin, which goes left to right. Now, once this is locked into place, you can push the handle out of the way. You have a bolster that goes up and down if you want a lower seat. Or, if you need a little more room, you can fold it up and give it a little more height when sitting on it. One of the other nice features on this Yamaha jet boat is the storage. You have a glove box area here and a lockable glove box down below. You have a storage area that is big enough to accommodate a small head that sets in and storage for all your accessories. You have a small storage area underneath the helm as well in the back pocket. This also doubles as a wind block door that locks into place. And when you close your windshield, gives you a lot of wind protection on those stormy days. Now you also have a center ski locker compartment. It's in the middle of the floor here and has large access all the way up to the front. All right, moving forward on the jet boat, uh, we've got a couple nice features with the storage again as well. You have storage underneath each compartment nice about this particular model is that they're all hinged so no more pushing down the cushions and fear of them flying out you also have a small foot pocket here if you want to use as a seat these cushions come out and store and when you put your seat down you now have another seating position so another nice feature on this boat particular is you have a bow filler package these cushions go in between the seats and make this a full day bed for sun tanning. Another added feature to this boat is you have a step up to your front bow. You've got a small step up here to get you to your front for docking. And in this particular boat, in your anchor locker storage here, you also have a front facing ladder so you can get out at the sandbar and get back on the boat. We're gonna move to the rear of the boat. So on the rear of the boat, you have two storage compartments on either side. One houses a cooler on this particular model. Your other side houses your battery and battery switches. This is where you're going to turn the boat on before you put it in the water. So we have our power switches. You have your house switch to power on all the accessories. And then you have your starter switch that powers on your motor. If you ever get into a situation where your starter battery is dead, you do have an emergency backup switch, which is the yellow one. And that's when you would turn it on. Notice that they're all hinged seats as well. So no misplacing the cushions. Also noted on the back of the, of the boat is going to be your table mount with a quick release. And then we also have the flush ports for both motors. You have one on each side. So your flush port on each side for the motor works just like the personal watercraft. Take the cap off, put on your garden hose quick connector, goes right in and locks. It is important to remember, just like on the personal watercraft with a jet product, Want to make sure you take your quick connect nozzle out of your port and put your cap on. And the flush procedure is the same as with the personal watercraft. Make sure you turn the engine on first, flush it for two minutes, turn the water off, 
turn the engine off last. On the back of your boat, this is where you're going to access your engine hatch. Single lever in the front opens the engine hatch so you have access to both of your motors. With the engine hatch open, this is a great time. We like to recommend that you check all your fluids before you put the boat in the water. With your oil level, it has great access around the motor to do all your routine maintenance. As we move to the back of the boat, you have a step-through transom on the Yamahas. They have a couple great storage options back here. On each side, you have a full storage compartment, which is a great spot for all your ski ropes and extra accessories. And one of the most important and unique features on the Yamaha jet boats is you have a clean-out area that allows you to clean out any seaweed or debris that gets into the jet pump. They have the Clean out plugs, which go in and lock. When you have seaweed or debris, you unlock, take them out, clean your debris, and then lock your drain plugs back in. When you open this hatch, you do have a safety switch, so it shuts off the engine automatically, so you don't have any hands when you're inside the jet pump area. And that if there's any questions on how to reset your drain plugs, they have a diagram right here. So particular to this Yamaha jet boat, you have a great hangout spot on the back here. You have the cushions in the backrest. So you also have a rear radio control that you can change stations and do any of your radio functions while you're in the water on the back deck. This is a great spot to hang out and have a little fun while you're out on the water. Also on your rear deck, you have a second table mount. So you can actually have a table functioning while you're hanging out and floating in the water as well. Another nice feature on the back of the Yamaha jet boat is you do have a reboarding ladder on the back. with handles to get back into your boat. One of the other added features of the Yamaha jet boats is you have an articulated keel. So this helps low speed operation. As always with all boats and any jet boat, make sure you put your drain plug in before you put it in the water at the ramp. So this was a basic overview of a Yamaha jet boat. Different models will have different features. If you had any further questions or concerns, feel free to contact us at Riva. We'll be glad to help you out the best way we can. Thank you for watching, and as always, we appreciate your business at Riva.